So God has raised this man called Saul to be the first king of Israel. He was a charismatic man. And he was a man that could draw a lot of people. But then he became proud. He thought that he can be king without God. He had total disregard for God's prophet. But he came to a point where he totally disobeyed God. But God was very sad. Samuel who appointed him as king was very sad But God says I want to choose another king Thank you so much. Pastor Samadhi, thank you so much. You all have a seat. Thank you so much for standing to honor the Lord's word. Okay, Pire Singh gonna say hi. Hello, Pire, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, yeah. Okay, great, wonderful. And uh, so glad to be here this evening. Yeah, this morning I was with uh, Pastor Sophia's church. And uh, just uh, anointing his, his uh, new place and his new elders of the church. Very exciting things that are happening there in... Uh, new life non pentamai nhom chua chiet tha ka oh cha kit ka lo lo nung ka mien lang nau trom chinom chua thamai chuk ba but i believe also that new life non pentamai you're going to see new things happening amen but dai nhom chua chiet tha trom chinom nau ti ni ko nung khoeng kit ka oh cha lo lo ka mien lang dai amen i have a word for you but before i give the word I, I want to introduce you again. My wife is here again, Ping as well. And um, Kessler, can you stand up as well? Kessler is here from Singapore. The youth, our, our, our youth people. And, uh, and JQ can stand up as well. And Matthew, of course, my son, my younger son, he was preaching at the youth yesterday, just now. And uh, so I, I want JQ to come up and share a story quickly. Come up, JQ. Yeah. So, so, so this young man, just during, during before COVID, uh, he was not a Christian. He was a drug addict. He was going to go to prison. Prison. Jail. Go to jail. Okay. But I want to let him tell his story quickly. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, so basically, when I was young, I knew that there was a Jesus. But I wanted to chase the things that I felt was important to me. So coming from a divorced home uh, with an absent father, I tried to find approval and recognition from a lot of things. I met the wrong company and I started smoking and drinking. And eventually I found myself into drugs. Getting high on alcohol and drugs every day made me 
feel happy chúng nhóm pra pra kriêng nhiên pra pra kriêng sờ băng thua nhóm sờ bài mà plek by the end of the day the hole in me kept getting deeper the hole in me keep getting deeper chúng nó pe nhóm căn đã pra pra vấn tai nông chỉ vật bởi nhóm hạ chi miên chân lọ pro hong mui đã ọt pinh lịnh one day i got arrested chúng ngày mui nhóm có thờ ban bị lý chấp and like pastor simon said i was supposed to go to jail chúng bị lý chấp hả đối lục hữu simon ban giấy thay nhóm bầm rong nâng kịch cho tự tự cốc ấy but i decided to find god and find jesus hay nhóm có chấp phá đam xoay rốc bỏ ống có sầm rai chật tha nhóm sầy rốc rốc jesus christ and by the grace of god he, i got off with the least punishment chúng đòi xa bẹ côn bỏ ống pe nu ai có miên cao cha cả láng nhóm có trơ ban tới pun tiền kia bình so i didn't step into jail at all chúng miên ai tha nhóm mọt ban bơ lý chấp pần tai nhóm mọt ban tới pun tiền kia tê i had hallucinations I see. Ba anh chăng nhom pra pra lo hot tới hiền cái hào tha hiền về anh buồn chắc khơi ní khơi nu chăng nữa. A lot of paranoia. Ba hay chấp đam lư sầm lên ní sầm lên nu con ông ca kết bao nhom. And I could hear voices that weren't there. Voices. Ba anh chăng nhom ai lư sầm lên ní sầm lên nu pha hiền bay cam mặt than nữa. I I could not I could not trust my senses. Hay nhom có ai chụp chặt đồ này màn đại hội nhom chết tàn chăng. But I knew that God's word wouldn't change. Bọn tai nhom đang tha prea bọn tuol bóng ọt phlas prae. If God's if God's word if the Bible said God loves me today. Ba prea bọn tuol bóng tha sảnh nhom ngày ni. Tomorrow it will still say the same. Thngai sai ko bóng nơ sảnh nhom dai. And from there I found God and found a church, I found a family and I found new friends. Tang pi pel nu mao nhom chap pdam cho ruom nang krom chu nom chi krua sa nhom chap pdam min mat phak lo lo nhom chap pdam rok khui sa hak kum ma nhom wing. And even an international family. Hai ba tua bai bong on krom krua sa nang krom chu nom chu phai Campuchia ko dai. Someone said that even God can't help you now during my situation. Hai mien a Mình nuôi mà chìm nuôn vậy thôi. Bây giờ mình ai chui nhóm bán đi, mình lòng pe để nhóm thật nâng không có lại xạ bèm nâng à? But he doesn't know our God. Bọn tái nẹt đại giấy nâng kẹo score bây giờ để thông hẹn mi ấy. Our God is the God of the impossible. Bây giờ bây giờ chỉ bây giờ để ai tự rước trúc sát thanh phiêu nâng à? Để ai thưa cao cha bạn. Amen. And if he can change me, he can do miracles for any of you. Hãy bà bây giờ ai phải phải nhóm bán bây giờ có ai thưa cao lục lục này ông bồn ông này nâng nhóm cao cha thực căn này ở tây bàn này. Thank you. Oh, good job. Wow, that was very good. That's why we call ourselves New Life. Hai ni hai ban jeung hai luon ai tha jiwat thamai. Because people will have new life, right? Pro tam manu nang mien jiwat thamai. Amen. You know when I look at all of you. No pe nyom meu te kan luk ne ang pon nang ao khnie. What do I see? Ta nyom meu khoe ai. I see new life. Nhóm khơi chỉ vật thay mình trong lúc này ông bồn trong ao khnề. You are the reason why I believe that Jesus is real. Lúc này bom bồn trong ao khnề chỉ hai phao để nhóm chưa thắp bách. Jesus Christ chưa bách hại bật. Because I see the change life in you. Đời xa thì nhóm mơ khơi cái ca đại bách Jesus Christ ban bom phao hôm nay chỉ vật lúc này ông bồn trong ao khnề. So when I see you, I know that God is real. Nó bây giờ nhóm khơi này ông bồn nhóm chưa thắp bách chỉ vật chưa bách hại bật. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody and say God is real. Nghĩa tất cả là chất khám và dưỡng Prat tha prea Chia mặt cha chia prea đại bật Amen And you know I have been involved in the critical parts of your church life Lúc này ông Phá ôn đang ngay thay nhóm chia chùm này nuôi dàng xâm khăn Đã chia chùm này nuôi dưới Nhưng không có chùm này nuôi dưới thay Cảm ơn chia dưỡng And you know I've seen the Basically Pastor Samadhi now is the fourth senior pastor Hay nhóm bán chất lòng cắt cựu Cùng viên tăng bị đa mà lục hữu cùng viên Bỏ dưỡng chị Lục hữu Samadhi chia lục hữu cùng viên chất bóng thị buôn I was there with number one, number two, number three, and on number four. Ba nhóm ban chlo cắt chỉ mới lục hữu cùng viên chất bóng nè. Thì mui, thì pi, thì bay là lâu thị buôn. And so I believe the church now, as I was praying for the message today, that your church is gonna go through a a situation that we need God's miracle. Hãy nhóm đồng long bên nhóm ăn thịt than, sầm rạp, mê liền đi. Nhóm chưa chia thà cầm chỉ nôm bao hiếng, chia cầm chỉ nôm đài trời ca. You know, God has given all of you a beautiful piece of land. Lúc nào bố đang ấy thả bách chim chả bán bờ tiền đây mà cắn con chim nấm chim bạch thay. At Hun Sen Boulevard. 
Bun Hunsen Boulevard, the, road, the, the land is there. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea. Okay, no flow, no. Okay. Flow hooks up. Yeah, flow hooks up. Okay, and so to build your new church there, to build your new church there, it's going to take millions of dollars. And right now the church doesn't have millions of dollars. Okay, and so we can either pray for God to drop millions of dollars. Or somebody to give us that money. Or that God will give us a way. And I think that God has given a way. But a few things need to happen. But it will bless you at the end. So I ask us if you could pray right now. Pray with me right now. That some of the things that needs to happen, that God will make it our way. And so can I ask Pastor somebody, would you please lead us in praying for this situation that God will make the way? សំលុកដែលបងប្អូនបានរួមចិត្តហាក់ទីឋានជាមួយខ្ញុំបីដាននេះទូបង្គំប្រមជ្ឈាស់គុណអបគុណព្រះអង្គប្រមជ្ឈ
But then I think more are coming. And so now with with also another thing is happening in your church that we must prepare. There is a new generation coming. A new generation of the children of the pastors and the leaders that are now in teenagers, but they're going to get older. And one of these days, very soon, the children are going to be the next leaders. And also today, the message is about how we are supposed to treat one another. You know, I love Pastor Samadhi and, and, and Pastor Navi. And I know that God has made them your senior pastors. It is God's choice. But they, after they becoming a senior pastor, you know, almost three, four years was COVID. So he was a COVID senior pastor. It is very hard. But now he is about to become the pastor of the physical church. And so there are some of the things that you have to get used to. Now is the time for us to look at him and look at the leadership in a way that God wants us to look at them. And also to look at the younger generation that are going to be leaders and pastors, how we look at them. So this is a story here from the Bible that teaches and reminds us how to treat one another. And this is a story about David and his brothers. And so this story here, I want to capture this part about King David and his relationship with his brothers before he was a king. So I want to give you some backstory, some history, because some of you may not be familiar with the story. So God has raised this man called Saul to be the first king of Israel. He was a charismatic man. And he was a man that could draw a lot of people. But then he became proud. He thought that he can be king without God. He had total disregard for God's prophet. And he began to dishonor God. He thought I can be king and still disobey God. And God was patient with him. But it came to a point where he totally disobeyed God. But God was very sad. Samuel, who appointed him as king, was very sad. But God says, I want to choose another king. So Samuel was called by God to choose a new king. But it's a very dangerous mission. Because if Saul knows that Samuel is going to anoint the next king, he will kill Samuel. So Samuel 
Từ chạm phải tăng ở nhà mua chiếc chiếc đắt đắt số đừng xem lấp chiếc cái này. And so God told him to go to a house. Nhưng bây giờ chỉ cha phải ở chiếc cái xăm nhà từ căn kia. And God says, when you go there, I will tell you which of the brothers will be my next king. Bang prap ay tap tiah lok ay sai. Hai nope la chadal ti nang yom nang prap ha lok ta cha preng tang ay nana. And so he goes into this house. Jeng lap chi kai sam yai ko tuk kan tiah nang. So now we want to read the story from First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse six to twelve. Alang yom som an atabat kompi nang nuk nong moi sam yai chum puk ti da pum moi da ko ko ti pum moi da ko da pi. ការលោកអេសាយនឹងកូនប្រោះប្រោះមកដល់លោកសាមយូអែលក្រលេកឃើញអេលៀបក៏នឹកក្នុងចិត្តថាប្រាកដជាម្នាក់នេះហើយដែ
Jacob's feeling. Hey, you have that nugget and this more Australian. Nobody answered. Ma, I'm not going to I said, okay. Okay, you So I went to preach. Okay, you how much like you have to bring? But after I've preached, finished. But after you bring, I have the altar call. You have to come in. And a lady ran out. Hey, me and Kamei say, me and say, me and say, Pastor, Pastor. Swilling the lady, the name, the spelling. She, she's my friend, she's a guest, she's here. I was like, thank you, God. And then she came out. And, and I prayed for her. I gave her a prophetic word. She said, she said, you know, this is a name that even my friends don't call me. My, my friends call me another name. But God wanted to call her by that name. That's how powerful our God is. Amen. 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 Come on, praise God. And so Samuel in the story now has to say number seven. And God says, no, 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 no. And then Samuel the prophet asked the father Jesse, he says, you know, have you got any other son? And you know what the father's reply? It's a very sad reply. He said, Oh There's one more son. I forgot about that son. He is with the sheep. Imagine that. The prophet of the nation was coming into my house. Um, a very special event. And the father Jesse forgot the last son. It is very sad that that son is forgotten. But God did not forget him. And then he came. And God told Samuel, Rise now, this is the one, anoint him. Because even the, the prophet looked at the other brothers and said, This is the one, right? No, but. Because the first one was the oldest one. He was the big brother. He was the one that had everything. But God didn't choose him. And now God anoints David. Now this is very important. God. Hello. God anoints David. And then now, his brothers all see David anointed. But they did not accept David as the king. Because we just read the story. What happened next? I play a little bit softer, thank you, okay? Alright. So what happens next? Okay, is this. Is that now David goes into the camp and they're gonna fight the Philistines. Fight, fight, he's gonna go to camp. To fight Goliath. And so Goliath wants to fight. Israel. So David says, how come no one is fighting the, the, the giant? And you, you, and you know what was the reply of, 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 of Eliab, the oldest son? 
ถ้าตาลงในอัลบอดังทาการชลายตอบหรือบ่เอเลียมาจีแต่แต่ชื่อบองกีบอกอัลบอดเดวิดนั่ง He told David ให้กับพระเดวิดท่า He says you wicked man ให้กับพระก็เยจการเดวิดท่า You are a c r o You are arrogant ให้โอนปัจจุบันอมนุษย์ลังแมนเดน Why are you here ให้เดินโอนในที่นี้ How can you say such a thing ให้เดินโอนใจเปียตังอันนี้ตัวชิมวยเนี่ยนั่ง Why did Eliab the oldest brother after seeing his younger brother anointed talk to his brother that way? ฮาได้บันบองเพราะเอเลียบแต่แต่แต่เคยตัวพนักอัมพีพเชียกอะไรจะเปลี่ยนตั้งเอาเดวิดให้ยึดจังตะการพระองค์มัน Because Eliab has got three problems. โดยซาแต่เอเลียบตัวมีปัญหาบ่าย And that was why God passed Eliab. ให้จีมูลหัดได้เปรชิมจ้าเมื่อรุมลงเอเลียบ The first problem with Eliab. ปัญหาที่มวยบ่าเอเลียบ He was full of pride. กอด Pride says this. I'm not a c h a I know better than God. คุณยมดังเรื่องภาษาจึงเปรียบเทียบมาจ้ Number two problem with him. เรื่องที่ปีบอเอลิบ He judged. เอลิบกัดกระได That means I want to be God. ได้เมียนในทาคุณยมจองคลายจึงเปรียบเทียบมาจ้ And the third thing with him. He was he was envious. คือเอเลียบจีมนุได้จนาน I am not happy with God's choice ขยมมันสบายจัดจมวยกาเชอร์เรอร์บอกเปรชิมจ้ะแต่เลิกเอาหนุ่ยมัน And that was why God passed เอเลียบอันนี้จีมูลหัดได้เปรชิมจ้ะเมื่อรุมลองเอเลียบ Is man thought that เอเลียบ was the best leader ปะปะจีมนุที่เห็นกระทาเอเลียบจีเนตดึกน้อมได้หรอ But God saw his heart was not right คนตายเปรชิมจ้าตดมือดวงจิตเอเลียบอัตมตรีบริษัทสิสเตอร์สลูกเนี่ยบอมปอนถึงอันนี้ Pastor Samadhi is chosen by God to lead this church ลูกครูสามดีกวาดเจอบานเชื่อหรือปีเปรชิมจ้าดำไปดักน้องครมจุนมนี He is your first Kamai pastor ให้กวาดเจียมันเนี่ยได้เปรชิมจ้าเชื่อหรือจีเนี่ยดักน้องหรือครมจุนมต่างอ่ะ This is a Kamai church ไฮนี่เจียกลมจุนมขมายบ่อยเยอะแต่ลูกครูจีจุนเจียขมายดักนอม Amen Amen And so when he leads don't judge him จังหนูไปเด็กกอดดักนอมกลมกัดสิกได้จะเลิกกอด Don't be envious because God chose him กลมเมียนสิกได้จนนั้นจมพวกกอดหนูไปเด็กกอดดักนอมแต่ทราบเปรียบเทียบจ้าเชื่อเลิกกอด And don't be prideful ให้กลมเมียนอมนุษ Sometimes he will make mistakes. Maybe he doesn't preach like the other pastors that were your senior pastors. But he has got gifts that are different. When David wanted to fight Goliath, Saul went to him. Like Saul, b a n t i n g j a m e s Saul said, "This is my armor. Wear it and fight Goliath." Saul, p r a p a n i c h i k r u n g s r a y u t b o y e n g j o p e a i t h e w a i with g o l i a t h But David wore it and says, "I cannot wear this to fight." Hey, David, c h a p a m p e with n n with a b a c h a n David, t a y o m a r a t a n a n g t b y u t m k e b a n i You know, in the same way, Pastor Samadhi cannot wear the anointing or the way that the other pastors did it. c h a n g d o k n i n u n g r o b i a n a n g l o k r u s a m a d i m n a เปะเอาไว้ได้เชียร์เพลงตังได้ครอบจักพิมลดำไปดักน้องครอบจีนมาแล้วบ้านนี่ Pastor Samadhi has to be his own person ลูกครูสามดีเท่าแต่เมียนเพลงตังในมกปองให้ดักน้องแต่ครูนก่อน You cannot compare ลูกเนี่ยบองโอมันอาจเปรียบเทียบบ้านนี่ When you do that you are then judging him นับเป็นลูกน้ำโอมเปรียบเทียบลูกน้ำโอมกับปงแต่กัดสิ่งใดเลยลูกครูไว้ Amen Amen You cannot. You let he has to be wearing and forming his own armor that God gives to him. l o k r u t r t e p e t h n s a y t h a p r i m a a b a n i p c h a m l o k r u d a b a d n o m Because he God made him different. l o s a p r i m a a b o n g k a t l o k r u m e l a k n a p i s e But God wants him to lead this church at this season right now. Hai p a n g s a p a h a t l o k r u j k r u k u n g l a d a k n o m r o m j n o m j i t h a m a n d a n i And so when you come in. This church, as you come out of COVID and you're coming back together, you need to have a unity in your attitude. n h a n p y n g h l n g a t r n g c h a n c h m o n COVID, y n g m a s n g a y n g t m n g m t n k a r b r m If you will stay one heart, n p l o k n p r b r m n t m One mind, c h t m t m United. Honoring him as the senior pastor in the way you honor the others. Chapadam, go rub, cho cho, chimoi lo kru, do lo nẹp bong bong, go rub, cho cho, chimoi kru, ngwe mun mun. 
you will you will you will do things that are going to be beyond what you've done before i look at nang khoe ka oh cha kech ka rat pat dia han nang ka lang leus pi ka rom pong tok bo ne i have helped many churches all over the world ngom ban che chom nai mo cho ruom chuoi krom chnom che chran nau tu tang phop lok next week i'm going to go to africa to do a prophetic conference njeng sap da kroi ngom tau africa dam bai thwa si kha sala mo sdai pi ka khlai pek chom nieng Every church that has got problems. Listen now very important. Every church that has got problems. Hai kom jnom tang ah mien pañ ha. Muay. I found this to be true. Hai ñom chap daam chlo ban chang hai mơ khoeñ tha vi tam trau men. Nothing can destroy the church from the outside. Khmien na vai dae ai bom bai bom bak krom jnom pi khang krau wa ni. Every church that are destroyed is always from the inside. Krom jnom dae bak bai dae mien pañ ha ka lang pi khang khnong. So if you don't kill each other on the inside nothing can touch you. ចាំមកលោកអ្នកបងប្អូនមិនបាក់បាយពីខាងក្នុងនេះគ្មានណណាអាចបំបាក់អំផែកធំជំនួយ if you will learn this. ខ្ញុំសុខនៅលោកអ្នកបងប្អូននឹងរៀនមែនទេនេះ. You will find that you will prosper and grow. ហើយខ្ញុំជឿជាក់លោកអ្នកបងប្អូននឹងរកឃើញលួនឯងរីកចម្រើនឡើងទៅកំរិតមួយថ្មី. Get behind your senior pastor and his wife. ឈរពីក្រោយគាត់ចាំគាំទ្រលោកគ្រូកងវាលរៀនច្បងរបស់យើងនឹងក្រុមការបកគាត់. Get behind your leaders. There will be young generation of David's coming. Let them not stand next to you, but let them step on your shoulder and go up. Amen. Amen. Oh, you do that. Come on. Come on, the side of Not a single church I help over 20 years have I seen them fall or reduce because of outside. It's always inside. Just do one simple thing. Let this be a house of honor. A house of forgiveness. A house of wisdom. And you will see God move. So, two simple points and we are going to close. Number one. Don't look at the past. See people for who they will become. When I look at my boys who came from Singapore, I, I don't see their past, I see who they're going to become. When you look at your pastor, Look at your new leaders. Don't look at what they were before, but look at who they will become. Amen. Amen. Goliath, oh, sorry, David, when he fought Goliath, he used a sling and one stone, right? David, And then later on when he was king he didn't use that anymore He used a sword So what does it say to you God will change your pastor He will use one way but then God will anoint him to use another way later he will grow So back to the story of David and his brothers. So he, when he killed Goliath, his brothers didn't accept him. David was one of is actually the most rejected man in the Bible after Jesus. His father rejected him. His king wanted to kill him. His general wanted to betray him. His wife didn't like him. His sons wanted to overthrow him. Wow, this guy really have a rejection problem, you know. I don't know, I don't know anybody else in the Bible that have so much rejection. 
But he never let it get into his heart. David was a man that honored his king. David He loved his people. He even loved the son that betrayed him. You see, you got to understand people, number point number two, people will always change for the better or for the worse. People change. Amen. Amen. People will change. Pastors will change. Sometimes for the better. Sometimes. And so we know, we understand this. And so we got to know this, that as long as we walk right with God, give them time to walk with God. You see, at the end of the story, in 1 Samuel chapter 22, David went to this place called En Gedi. And Gedi. En Gedi. It, it was, and he says that 400 men came with him. They were all rejected men as well. But, but one keyword here. This is the last part. He says, soon his brothers and all his other's relatives join him there. These were the guys that didn't accept him. So what happened? They all joined David now. All his brothers. All his relatives say, this is our leader. The Bible doesn't tell us. But if you read carefully, you, you can tell that it's because they saw how David led his life. They saw his brother's life of integrity. How his brother honored the king even though the king wanted to kill him. When they saw his life, they said, we want to follow him. So I ask of you as we close to, to examine your heart. Sometimes when you see your leaders, they were once your, your bro and your sister, but now they're your leader. How was your attitude? You know, even Jesus had the same problem. Jesus had four half brothers. They all rejected him. But in Matthew 28, they saw the resurrected Christ. Imagine that you, 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 your brother playing with you now, he is God. And James and Jude were brothers that wrote the scriptures, the New Testament. Hi, Jacob, hi, Nung. Jude. And so today, I believe that in this season, if you will get behind your pastor and your leadership, and say that in my life, no pride. I, I, I don't want to judge. I don't want to be envious. I'm not going to try to be God. 
I don't want to say that I know better than God. Or that you know I'm not happy with God's choice. If you take all these three things and you throw it away from your life. And you as a church unite. Fully behind your pastor and your leaders. I tell you this place is too small. Amen. Amen. Can you stand right now, please? So I want us to really don't just hear a message. Then after you hear a message, you forget it. Then you waste your time coming to church. It's important you hear the message. And God spoke to you that you did something with that message. And then you tell God, God, if I have got pride, this is a private matter between you and God. Tell God if I have a pride, God, take it away. Lord, you know, if I am judging, Lord, free me, Lord. If I'm easily envious when people are doing well and jealous of them, Lord, forgive me, God. Come on. Come on, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it in your life. Get rid of it. Get rid of it in your life. You don't need that. If you have that, you are like an Iliab. But instead be like David A man after God's heart David was a man that knew how to honor David was a man loyal to his, to his leader David was a man that followed Jesus Followed the Lord God and so I pray right now that you would tell the Lord that you want to do the same thing so that God will open heaven so that he would come into your place right now so that he would touch you right now I pray that God will send His fire right now to you. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's enter into worship right now. And I want to open the altar right now to you. And then you want to you want to come up and say, God, I want to do I want to do an exchange right now with you. Fill me with your fire. Fill me with your love. You know when you come out, you say, I'm united with my pastor to go forward to build this church. If you, if you unite with your pastor You're telling them Step forward right now Come on right now Step forward If you want to unite with your pastor Come forward right now Say I'm behind Pastor Samadhi And his leadership You show the Lord By just coming up here Come on I want to see people Coming up here Unity, unity, unity. Shout out about, come on, show the Lord how united you are. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank amen. you, God. ตรงเรื่องสวาย
Thank you, God, for the people that are gathered here. Let fresh fire come. Lord, I believe that there's going to be a new season that will come. Listen, church, I saw, I saw, a, I saw a vision that God gave me about your church. And I saw this picture of a tree. Like your church is like this tree. But this tree is a new tree. It was growing one way and now it's moving another direction. And it's growing in another way. But I saw there were so many green leaves. And the Lord gives Psalms 1 to your church. That it, it's a tree that's planted by the stream. That its leaves will never wither. That in the right in the seasons it will always bear fruit. That you got a reach that is very far. There was a strong tree. I tell you, this is your pastor is going to lead this church and it's going to be a very reliable and dependent pastor. God told me this just now. No bad surprises from him. That you, what you see is what you get. So you don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to worry anymore. Go together and build what God wants. Amen. Amen. Don't worry, okay? God knows what He's doing. This church only belongs to Jesus, nobody else. Amen. 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 Come on, give God a praise.